Alright guys, so the way you want to relaunch the kite is number one, don't touch anything. Make sure you don't touch anything, lean back against the kite because when it comes into the power zone, it's going to have a lot of power. Number two, check to make sure that the lines are not tangled, okay? If the line is tangled, it's no good. Red is on left, blue is on right. However, when the kite is upside down, it will be the opposite. So we have a beach over here, you have to figure out which is the best place to relaunch. So it depends on your area. Oh, so much power right now. Usually we relaunch the kite away from the beach for any, or any obstacle to make sure that when it comes up, we don't get pulled into some place that we don't want to. Number three, correct the bar. Make sure if you want the kite to go right, you pull left. Your kite, you do, if you want the kite to go left, you pull right. So make sure you use the right, the proper hand. So if I'm pulling the left side, I'm using my left hand. Don't use the right hand. You see, the body position is not correct. So you won't have a proper counterweight. So I keep my chest open all the time because I need to create tension between me and the kite here. So I pull as hard as I can. There's a little line over here. We want to grab that and we want to be patient because right now it's pulling me a lot. But I want to get it to the edge of the wind window, the 9 o'clock and 3 o'clock. So we want to bring it all the way and be patient. Once it goes to the edge of the wind window, it will have less power. If it's too much power, you could follow it a little bit. But don't follow it a lot because we need to create tension here. Once it gets to the edge of the wind window, as you can see here, I don't need to touch the kite anymore. So it has no power anymore. So now the wind is going through right here. Anytime you need two hands, this is a good position to have the kite because then you have two hands free and you can do whatever you want. So now I'm ready to relaunch either left or right side, nine o'clock or three o'clock. All I have to do is one hand. I pull the bar in slightly. If the kite doesn't come up, that means it's not enough wind in going into the kite. What I could do is I could walk up against the wind while I'm creating pressure on the left side and it will slowly come up. As you can see, I don't need to pull the bar in. I just use the angle between me and the kite until I get the kite to 12. And when I get to 12, then I use two hands. So that's very easy to relaunch right there.